Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. So today we're doing a somatic yoga practice for the lower back and psoas. And for those of you that have been practicing with me for a while, you may notice there are things that are very familiar in some ways because somatics has been a real influence in the way that I think about moving and my yoga practice because of the dance work that I've done and being influenced by Alexander Technique or Feldenkrais in these field of somatics, which really can create a, a very deep internal experience of and connecting the brain body uh, relationship. And so I have been doing specific somatic training. And so I just wanted to frame it as somatic yoga so people know that it is a particular practice. Um, and we're going to be working today just on some very simple movements, lying down on our back. And it's the, the field of somatics is really about deepening that awareness and the relationship between the brain and the body. So we're increasing that, those neural pathways to uh, deepen that connection as well as bring awareness to habitual holding in the body. So that's part of it as well. And then another aspect of the work is re-educating the body. So often moving in simple ways, but slightly complex ways that helps the brain and the body start to communicate in a much more effective way. And so you can find release, develop that kind of internal sense of connection and awareness of what's happening with your body and yourself and there's multiple benefits, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail with that right now. Um, but just, to, just so you know, somatic yoga is less about the shape of things and more about that felt experience. So that's something to be thinking about when we're going through the practice that it's less shape focused. So less aesthetics and more of that, developing that internal sense of what you're feeling. So with all that in mind, I hope you're nice and comfortable. We're going to start lying down on the back when you're ready. And because we are going to be lying on the back for most of the practice or all of the practice, really, make sure you're warm. Have socks if you need to. You could pop a blanket on underneath the back. Arms down by your side. And we're just starting in our constructive rest position. The heels underneath the knees arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Feeling free to close down the eyes if you'd like to. Just taking this time to land and locate. So we're landing in the body. Just noticing those points of contact with the back surface of the body in the mat the soles, the feet, and the back of the pelvis, and parts of the mid back, the upper back, back of the shoulders, arms, back of the hands, and back of the head. And maybe with each exhale, those points of contact can get a little bit deeper. So feeling that relationship with gravity. And the idea of landing and locating in the body, you can also think of it as your internal GPS. So we're really just checking in, noticing where we're at, where our bodies are. Attuning to ourselves. And if it feels okay to come to the breath, maybe you want to take a few deeper breaths here. Slow breath in and slow breath out. And then just allow the breath to be how it needs to be. If you want to continue with that long, slow breath, you can absolutely feel free to do that. Now, if you want to keep your eyes closed, you can, or you can just open up your eyes. 
And especially if you're feeling a bit drifty or a bit sleepy, I would encourage you to open your eyes and just have just a very, just a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. I want you to imagine that you've got a clock face on the back of your pelvis. And so if you're thinking about your tailbone, your tailbone would be six o'clock and the top of the pelvis, just maybe a bit beneath, underneath your belly button would be 12 o'clock. And then towards your left hip socket, hip bone would be three o'clock. And then the right hip bone would be nine o'clock. And so what we're going to do here is going to explore this clock face that's on the back of the pelvis. And first of all, we won't include the breath, but if I do give instructions, please feel free to follow them or not. But let's just take our tailbone down. So we're gonna arch through the spine to take our tailbone to six o'clock and then come across the pelvis to 12 o'clock. So we're tucking the pelvis under and then go again to six o'clock and then to 12 o'clock. And then again, cross down the pelvis to six and then back up to 12. And if you would like to add the breathing here, we're gonna take an inhale as we come through center and then exhale to press down to six. Inhale through center, exhale to curl the tailbone under to 12. You take your own time, use your own breath cycle just exploring this arch and curl of the pelvis, thinking about the clock face. And then the next time you've come to your 12 o'clock, find the space in between six and 12. So coming into that neutral, neutral pelvis. And then now we're gonna go across. So we're going to press down through that right hip, maybe the left hip lifts up a little bit. This nine o'clock and then across the back of the pelvis over to three o'clock, pressing down into three o'clock. Maybe the right hip lifts off a little bit. Think about initiating from that right hip to go across the pelvis to nine. Inhale and then exhale, cross the pelvis to three. Think about initiating from nine o'clock across the pelvis, initiating from three o'clock to come across to three. And again, inhale, exhale as you come across the center over to nine. Now you just keep going, just use your own timing. It's this little exploration of the pelvis and all the little possibilities here of movement. So think about initiating from that left hip across and then initiating from that right hip across. And the next time you go over to the right, let's come back and find the space in between the left and the right hip. And so now we're going to go full clock circle. We're going to come up to 12 and then a little circle down towards three o'clock to the left hip and then continue that circle to six to nine and then back up to 12. And again, across to three, six, nine, and 12. Keep going. Notice if there's particular parts of the clock face that you're trying to rush through or that you're not really hitting. And you might slow down as you move through that part of the clock face. Check in with your breathing. Just keeping it easy. We'll go one more time. And the next time you come back up to 12, Let's release back to our neutral pelvis. Just take a moment, find the breath. Just noticing any residual feedback here, sensations. And let's reverse, let's go anti-clockwise. So we're gonna come back up to 12, go over to nine, down to six, to three, and to 12, nine, six, three, and 12. Taking your own time, 
once again, just listening in to notice are there particular areas of the clock face that you're rushing through or that just don't feel as full as it could be? Check in with your breathing, just keeping it open. And then we're going to finish off the last one, coming back to 12 and releasing back to neutral. And then extend both legs long for a moment. You might want to keep your eyes open or you could close down the eyes. Just feeling into both sides of the body. Noticing anything that might feel different or the same. And then let's Bring the legs back up into your constructive rest. So bring the hands, interlace the hands at the base of the head. So just cradling the head, letting those elbows just open out here. And then extend that right leg long and let the le right leg fall open. So we're just letting that right leg be relaxed. So one of the things that we want to be thinking about in our somatic practice is when are we relaxed and when are we tensing, when are we activating through the muscle so we want to know the difference because sometimes we are always a little bit holding a muscle in a particular way so trying to relax that right leg as much as you can and take an inhale as you exhale draw the navel in think about drawing the sides of the body in and think about how that initiates the leg rotating to parallel and then drawing the knee in and then lifting the knee towards the nose and then opening back up again, letting that right leg relax, relaxing the upper body, taking an inhale, exhale, draw the navel in. That initiates the movement, drawing the knee in towards the nose and then inhale to open up, relaxing that right leg as much as you can. And then exhale, draw the navel in to draw the knee in and then inhale, to open up and let that right leg open out and exhale draw the navel in knee in and then inhale to open so take your own time you might want to go a little bit slower than what I'm doing or add more breaths no need to follow my breath instruction completely just once again we're taking a attitude of exploring through the body here noticing what's happening we're letting that right leg relax upper body relax trying to initiate through drawing the navel in to draw that right leg parallel to bring the right knee in and we'll just go just one more time an option here to just hold just for a few moments keep hugging the navel in keep the breath open maybe lifting those shoulder blades up a tiny bit more and then inhale to relax and let's open that right leg out and just take a little moment let's extend the left leg out bring the arms down by your side taking a moment to compare the right and the left side of the body just after doing that bit of work the brain really enjoys having this time to compare and observe and you might not notice any difference and that's okay let's bring both legs back up again for a moment feet flat on the mat interlacing the hands at the base of the head and take that left leg out letting that left leg roll open so it's just naturally rolling outwards taking an inhale and then as you exhale, draw the navel and the sides of the body in and then rotate that left leg in and drawing the knee in towards the nose. And then inhale to extend, letting that left leg roll open. Rotate in, draw the navel in. And knee to nose and extend. So trying to uh, initiate through drawing the belly in first and then 
bringing that knee in and extend to inhale and then exhale navel in sides of the body in to draw that left knee in and extend now just keep going take your own time thinking about where we're initiating from and there's multiple ways we can initiate movement but here we're trying to initiate through engaging through the abdomen to bring the leg in and trying to let that left leg relax completely in between now on this next one when you bring the knee in option here to hold for a couple of breaths keep hugging the navel in maybe lifting the shoulder blades off a tiny bit more and then inhale to release extend both legs long bring the arms down by your side feeling free to close down the eyes and then once again just checking in with both sides of the body now let's bring the feet back flat onto the mat bending the knees up opening up the eyes if they've been closed interlacing the fingers at the base of the head once again now taking uh, an inhale as you exhale let's let that right knee drop open just to the natural uh, rotation there and then what we're going to do is just lift the upper body slightly so we're going to bring the elbow to the knee and then extend that right leg out over to the left as if you're coming into your crescent moon or banana asana type shape here so the upper body goes slightly to the left as well and then we just repeat that so we're bringing this right knee in towards the right elbow and then extend out into your crescent shape here if you want to add the breath inhale and then exhale as you bring the knee to the elbow and then inhale coming into your crescent moon draw the front of the body down to the back body and then exhale elbow to knee just continue just go in your own time we're, we're strengthening and activating through the the side body so coming into that lateral flexion here there's all the stabilizing muscles around the lower back this if you've got a very sticky mat you might find that you're you're getting a bit stuck so hopefully you've got enough slippage so you can just find this action where it just slides up and down you might need to change the surface that you're on if that's not happening so let's just go just a couple more times and the next time you come over into this crescent shape or banana asana let's just hold for a couple of breaths you might want to close down the eyes allowing the front surface of the body to relax down towards the back surface it's opening up through the right side waist and then come back to center release those hands bend both knees up and then just for a moment let's take both legs down again and you can keep your eyes open or close up to you just a little moment just to check in here with both sides of the body bending the knees up interlace the hands at the base of the head letting that left knee dro drop open down to the mat just a natural rotation and then again let's bring that left knee to the left elbow and then take the left leg over slightly to the right long and upper body to the right and then knee to elbow and taking the leg long over to the right upper body to the right if you want to add the breath inhale and then exhale as you come into that lateral flexion and then inhale to extend the leg exhale to come in inhale to extend and then exhale to come in to that lateral flexion and just keep going use your own timing 
to be mindful of those lower ribs in particular. They love to flare open. I'll just go a couple more. And finishing off your last one, just coming into that left leg being long, upper body slightly over towards the right, front of the body falling back in towards the back body, just holding it here for a couple of breaths. Feel free to close down the eyes. And then let's bring the upper body back bring the legs back to center, feet flat onto the mat for a moment. And then let's extend both legs long. Observing the right and the left side of the body. Does anything feel more open? Is there more space or maybe uh, just a different sensation somewhere in the body? And just a little bit more here before we finish. We're going to take that right ankle on top of the right thigh. So coming into your figure four stretch and then threading that right hand through the middle. And you might hold the back of that left thigh or the front of the, the shin if you can. Keeping that right foot slightly flexed and then taking some small circles here. Just feeling into that outer right glute hip area and then changing the direction of the circle and then coming back to center take an inhale and then as you exhale maybe drawing the legs in just a little bit more and then releasing that left foot down. Keeping the same shape of the legs, we're gonna drop the legs over to the left. So he's trying to stand down onto that left, that right foot, and maybe holding onto the outside of the right ankle. If you can, if you can't, just keep the left arm open, that's fine. And then opening that right arm out to the side, slightly on the diagonal, you could turn your head to look towards the right hand, if that feels okay, or just close down the eyes and find your breath. You might notice that this is more of a yoga type posture. You can really feel the stretch and we're holding, whereas a lot of the work we've been doing up until uh, this figure four stretch has been much more active, mobilizing and moving through the body, not necessarily stretching the body. And then let's come back to center, release that right leg down, and then let's take that left ankle on top of the right thigh, bringing the legs in, holding behind the thigh or in front of that right shin, left foot slightly flex, squeezing the legs in, and then going for some little circles here. and then changing the direction of the circles. And then let's come back to the center, take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe there's some space to bring the legs in a little bit closer. Keep pressing down through the back of the pelvis. Shoulders relaxing down. And then let's release that right foot back down, keeping the same shape of the legs and then dropping the legs to the right, standing down onto that left foot now, maybe holding the outside of that left ankle if you can, opening that left arm out onto a diagonal, pressing that left knee away from the right shoulder rather than letting it fall in. We wanna keep a little bit active here. allowing the front ribs to uh, relax back in towards the spine. Easy breaths. And 
and then let's come back up through center, releasing the legs, uh, both feet flat onto the mat. It's so one last thing. I'm going to take this right leg up towards the ceiling. You can hold behind the thigh or the calf, or if you can hold the right ankle, you might do that. We're going to take a little bend through this right leg and then straighten. Bend and straighten. And if your leg is here, that's absolutely fine. Just work wherever you are. It's completely fine. Anyone who would like to extend this left leg long, if that's available, feeling free to go for that. A little bend of the right knee and straighten. Little bend and straighten. One more time, little bend and straighten. Just hold here for a moment, take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe there's a bit more space. And then let's soften through that right knee, extending both legs long. Take a little moment. Rotate the legs to parallel, feet flat onto the mat, extending that left leg up towards the ceiling, holding behind the thigh the calf or the ankle and let's take a little bend and straighten keep the breath easy and open if you like to include a breath we can take an inhale as we bend and then exhale as we straighten inhale to bend exhale to straighten maybe some of you might want to straighten that right leg just feel free to do what works for you inhale to bend exhale to straighten Inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. And go one more time. Inhale to bend, exhale to straighten, and just hold here for a couple of breaths. Taking one more inhale and staying for the exhale. Maybe there's a little bit more space. And then let's bend into that left leg, extending that leg long. If you have a bolster or a blanket and you want to pop it underneath your knees, feel free to go for that. We're moving into our shavasana. So Use anything that you would like to, to make yourself feel warm and comfortable. When you're ready, both legs are long, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up, closing down the eyes. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in. out through the mouth one more time inhaling in through the nose out through the mouth Just allowing the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm Noticing those points of contact with the body and the mat underneath you, allowing those points of contact to get a little bit heavier, a little bit softer with each exhale. Coming to rest for the next few minutes.
Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.